Welcome to Inside the Huddle. I'm Mike Joseph with the Lafayette Sports Network and GoLeopards.com. Lafayette goes up to Fairfield and drops their first game. Didn't play real well on either side of the ball. They got some good special teams from Jacob Bissell. But this week, I think what they need to do is sew up some of the things in what I call rush lanes. They did a great job getting to the quarterback off the edge. And in those times on third down and long, which I call the money down, they have to find a way to keep the quarterback in the pocket. And facing Delaware this week against another young quarterback who was pretty efficient offensively. But again, the pressure is going to have to come where Lafayette faces or presents third down and long or second and long. And having a guy like Pat Kehoe sit in the pocket not outside the pocket. Now this year, uh, this past week, they did a nice job getting that pressure off the edges with guys like Keith Earl and Chuma coming off the edge and then pressing the pocket. And what you want to do as an interior tackler knows is make sure you take on the double team and press the pocket back into the feet of the quarterback, getting that rush off the edge. Rush lane is very important. Always want to have two and two if you're rushing four. So if we're going to make a twist here, we want to end up with two guys on this side and two on this side. If we bring two guys down and a third around, it's important that that nose gets to the other side, again, to create two and two. You never want to have, say, three guys on one side and just one on the other, which opens things up. If you do that, you want to make sure it's to the left side or to the quarterback rolling to his left. So Lafayette has to make sure that they're going to drive guys into the pocket that they do not get washed down to one side, whether they're bringing another guy inside. So you want to make sure as you're getting up the field that you're not getting washed across the quarterback's face. It's very important to now get to your spot and then get back up the field and create again, almost like a wall in front of the quarterback so he can't step up in the pocket and then escape, similar to what the Sacred Heart quarterback did this week and last year, Sir Lafayette. So look for them this week to whether or not they're going to bring pressure off the corner to make sure that they don't get washed down and create good rush lanes so when Pat steps up in the pocket, he's going to have a wall in front of him. So rush lanes on the interior, rush lanes on the outside. Again, one last thing I want to talk about is getting to the depth of the quarterback. When the quarterback drops back to pass, you want to make sure you get to the depth of the quarterback. If you run past or get pushed past, that quarterback, again, has an escape lane. So to the per, uh, point of the quarterback, if he steps up, you want to roll and what I call retrace your feet or go out the way you came in. So very important for Lafayette. If they're going to put pressure on third down or second down to create that wall, be balanced on both sides in front of a quarterback, Pat Keogh, who's getting better every week. Delaware, 3.30 on Saturday.